Today we're gonna to build this coffee table really fast. Well, slow, but it looks fast. You know, cause like the angles and, and the way it kind of leans forward, it looks like it's moving almost. So I don't know, in my mind, it kind of looks like it's fast. Hey, Sean, they get it. So as with just about any project, I started with breaking down the lumber, which can be a little bit boring. So while I do that, let's talk about something a little more interesting, and that is the Four Eyes workshops that Chris and I just launched. Chris talked about it in detail in his last video, which I'll link to in the description, but just in case you missed that, I wanted to mention it here. And basically the condensed version is that we are going to start doing three-day furniture building workshops here in our shop, where people can come learn how to build a piece of furniture hang out and hopefully have some fun we have an entire website with all of the details and we're gonna be adding dates as time goes on so I'll put a link to that as well in the description all right I'm done milling the boards for the tabletop at this point and it's time to start the glue up which I did in two halves the lumber I was able to get was pretty wonky. The boards were pretty bowed all over the place. And since they were surfaced four quarter lumber, if I had jointed and planed them, I would have been left with a super thin top. So instead I went a little extra with the dominoes, then ran each half of the top through my drum sander. This helped to an extent so that when I glued the two halves together, I oriented them so that any bow in each half was opposite from the other. And after all of that, I ended up with a pretty darn flat tabletop. At this point, I could start working on the base for the table, but before I could do that, I had to get all of my stuff down to Whittier and move into Chris's shop to finally make this partnership official. Okay, with the move done and everything more or less in its place, I could get back to work and I started by making the square portion of the base. The sides lean forward at 15 degrees from 90 because 15 is a good amount of degrees. So I started by cutting that angle onto the ends of each piece on my table saw. With those done, I needed to cut the matching angle onto the front and back edge of the top and bottom pieces. And I did this by setting the blade on my table saw using a side piece as reference, then making those cuts. From there, I could cut the top and bottom pieces to final length, then cut in some dominoes.
Now before I could glue up the square portion of the base, I needed to cut in some dados that the long top and bottom supports would slot into. And of course, I did this on my table saw using the drill bit technique. So with those dados cut, I now had a choice to make. The way I saw it, I had two options for cutting the notches into the cross pieces. The first option was I could leave the dado as is and cut an angled notch into the cross piece. The second option was to continue the dado around the front and back edge, then cut a straight notch into each cross piece. Both of which seemed doable, but I ended up going with option two. Number two, what's behind number two? And the reason is that the first option felt like it just had less room for error. If I was slightly off on the angle at one end, end of my notch cut, it would be visible in the finished piece. Whereas if I was slightly off on the straight notch cut, it would be hidden within the joint and you'd never be able to see it. But spoiler alert, I nailed it. Nailed it. All right, so the first step was to carry that dado around the front and back edge on both the top and bottom pieces. From there, I could mark out where the notch would be cut into the cross piece, then establish those ends on my table saw. And with those cut, I could clear out the majority of the waste on the bandsaw, then finish the cut using a router bit in my router table. With that done, I could dry fit everything together, then test fit the vertical support piece. I then could mark the line where I wanted it and cut that angle onto the ends of both long pieces, which I did at the same time in one cut using my track saw. At this point, with everything ready to go, I could glue up the base, which I did in sections, and I started with the square portion. I then glued in the long cross pieces. I finally could glue on the angled vertical support piece, then trim that once the glue had dried. So that's where I'm at now. I just need to add a couple details, then sand and finish, but we're almost there. I'm gonna go knock this thing out, so I'll meet you back at the finished piece. Hey, so real quick, I wanted to talk about this month's featured viewer project, which comes from Yolene at Created Room on YouTube and Instagram. Yolene made these awesome Volkswagen buses out of wood for her mom, and she makes a lot of other cool cars and toys. So go check out more of her work on our website, which I'll link to in the description. We're going to be featuring a new project every month, and we're excited to be using Squarespace to help us build the website. Both Chris and I have been using Squarespace to build and maintain our websites for years now, and honestly, it's one of the best choices I made when I started my business. At the time, I had no idea what I needed to do to build a website, but Squarespace makes it super easy with tons of professional looking templates, as well as making things like purchasing domains really simple. Squarespace also has plenty of e-commerce tools to help you grow your business, things like inventory management, simple and secure 
secure checkout process and unlimited products allow us to easily manage online transactions and not get bogged down with mundane tasks so that we can devote more time to the things we enjoy like making coffee tables or Volkswagen buses. So if you're thinking about starting a website or if you already have one, go check out Squarespace to see if it might be a better option for you. Head over to squarespace.com slash four eyes for a free trial. Then when you're ready to launch, use the offer code four eyes to save 10% on your first purchase of a website or domain. All right, thanks Squarespace. And if you wanna have one of your projects featured, check out the link in the description for more details. I'm really happy with how it turned out. So thank you as always for watching. I really appreciate it. Hope you had a blast. This one took some work, so I am feeling a little gassed, but if you're looking to have some fun, make a table that looks really fast. Sean, they get it. And honestly, I think the moment's passed.